Hi, this video is being made for everybody that has dialed in on the Sequential Profit XL or just the Sequential Profit X with a shorter keyboard. An amazing keyboard. After owning it for a while I decided I really wanted to bring my own samples into it and was a little stymied on how to do this so I thought I'd make a little video of how I managed to work through this process and get sounds like from the Waldorf microwave. And some of my other favorite instruments and bring them into the profit. Now the first thing you're really going to want to do is to go to this thinkersnacks.com and look for the PX Toolkit. Sequential has a deal for the sample sets with 8DO, a very good company. However, their tool for importing samples of your own into the profit isn't that full featured. And after doing a bunch of research on the internet, I found some third party who spent a lot of time and came to up with PX Toolkit, which if you download it makes the process for oh, velocity switching, layers, stuff like that, makes it a whole lot easier. So once again, you want to go to thinkersnacks.com. Once you have your software set up for doing the import of the samples, you've got to get the samples. I'm using Digital Performer. I'm pretty old school, I guess. And I set up a file here where I play two notes per octave on whatever synth I want to trigger. And if you look at the data here, you'll see that the velocities are 127 on this particular file. That means this is the file that I have for the highest velocities. If I come over here, you can see I have a mid-high where the velocities are set at 100, a mid-velocity where they're set at 85, and low velocity at 45. These are the tracks right here. I just play the individual notes, low C, F sharp, the next octave up, etc. I constructed and enabled an audio track so that as I play, for instance, the high velocity track, I can record the results. etc. Doing it this way, I generated four separate audio tracks and now have to chop the samples up into individual notes. Once I have my samples generated in my DAW, I come over here, open the file in my audio editor, I'm using Amadeus Pro, and chop them into individual samples. Fairly high resolution I just isolate the sample, cut it, and paste it in a new file, like so. At this point I can trim off any lag in the beginning, like that, and save the file. Since this is the lowest note, but the highest velocity, I'll put it in here, and very important, I will name it according to the note I picked. This is my C1. It's important to do this so that when the prophet goes to recognize these, it makes the key map automatically from what note is in the name on the file. So, that done, I go through and I get all the samples done the same way. Grab this guy, cut him out, new file, paste it, trim the beginning, and save it. This is F sharp one. Go through the whole process until you have a bunch of folders with a bunch of individual note samples. Okay, so we now have our samples all truncated ready to go. 
uh, I've booted up the Prophet X toolkit right here. What I do is I go over here, grab my samples. Here's my low samples. As I save them, I just take them and drag them into the toolkit app. You can see the samples are here. They've been mapped according to the names I gave them. C1, F sharp 1, C2, etc. If I come over to this side, now I can edit how far up the velocity will go to trigger this sample. Basically I went up to 45 with these, so I just go down here, click on all these, and make them 45. Like so. You can see in the map these two didn't show up, so I just click on them and edit them separately, and there we have the velocity stops at 45. I go to the mid, grab these guys which were sampled between 45 and 85. You can see when I drag them in, the lowest velocity is already 46 because they were placed on top of the others. I just go down here and make it 85 for each one. And you can see as I do it, on the map, the velocity drops as I do each one. I do this also for my mid-high samples. Editing them down to 100. Again, that one odd one out. Doesn't show up in the list for some reason. And the high velocities all get the same treatment. These are done automatically because they only go up to 127. And there we have the entire map. My low samples, my mid samples, my mid high samples, and my high samples. You can see I sort of favored the low so that when I hit higher velocities, these will ping out. I don't want them pinging out a lower velocity. I really want them when I nail this stuff. At this point, you're going to want your USB flash drive, flash stick, inserted into your computer. There. Wait for it to boot up. I can get rid of this folder. When it gets to be here, I put this into whatever I want, I'm in user one category, I'm going to say it's keyboard because this is sort of a clavinetti kind of sound. I would say whatever numbers I want here, it would be for me six. Instrument would be, I would say wave station, since this came from my Korg wave station. And then super res was the name of the patch. Put them in here. When all this is entered, you just hit the download button here and it will be saved to the flash drive. I'm not doing it because I already did this and I don't want to overwrite the results I have. When I'm done, I just get rid of the flash drive in my computer and go over to the Profit. Here we are on the Profit XL. I have inserted the flash drive into the sample import slot on the back of the instrument. I just hit Global Basically, I just go to scroll down through Edit Global, go down to Update Library, which is number 34. Make sure User is chosen using this knob, and I hit Update Now. It'll take a little while as it imports all those samples. You will get a warning saying, warning, this will overwrite files. Yes, that's okay. You should be okay to hit go. Okay, basically that's it. 
once the samples are imported, I get a blank patch in here, come over here to my sample playback, choose user 1, the category of keyboard, choose the wave station super res that I just imported, have it lay out, make a patch out of it, and... <laughs> And I have my Korg Wavestation SR now into the profit. I hope this video helped you. Thanks a lot.